Yesterday I asked John Rahm about this golf course, and he said it kind of takes driver out of his hands or out of the player's hands. Is that unique on tour, or is it was this something that comes across more often? Maybe for him. I hit a lot of drivers around <laughs> this place. Um, you know, but there's a nice mix of holes, uh, some layup holes, and um, you know, some holes where the driver is a really tight fit. So you do have to put the ball in the fairway. So I can understand, you know, uh, taking some three woods off the tees to make sure you do play from the fairway. As someone who takes every shot at a time and round at a time, what it, what it gives you, um, playing yesterday afternoon and, and you know that this is a morning to take advantage, are you conscious of that or do you just go play? A little bit, but uh, you know it's pretty obvious when you're out there yesterday afternoon that birdies are hard to come by. Uh, I think I made 15 pars and felt really good about it. Um, there were a lot of holes playing difficult in the afternoon yesterday, and I imagine that's what it's going to be like this weekend. But you don't have a, a target score in mind or how many birdies you need to make. Does that? I just wonder if it put any extra pressure on you knowing this is good weather. Not really, but you know when you get it today, like this morning, which is a warm morning, um, but not a lot of wind, yeah, the golf course, golf course is scorable. You stay in the moment. I'm just curious, like yesterday, how hard is it to not be impacted or affected when a guy's struggling like that? I mean, you, you just you stay in your lane? Is that essentially it? Yeah, just trying to trying to do as best I can and, and stay, you know, as focused as I can. Uh, these golf tournaments are marathons, so as much as you can click in and focus on every shot, that's really my goal. What was your best shot today, do you think? Which one did you like the most? Um, believe it or not, I hit a really nice six iron on 16 that landed <laughs> pin high and bounced over the green, but that might have been my best swing. How did that look in the air? It looked great. Did you think you were going to have to work that hard for a three? <laughs> no. Had a few tournaments with Joe now. How, how's it been going? And um, has, has have you noticed anything that's maybe been different that might have helped you? Or, or it's been you, great. Did yeah, I mean, give you a different perspective, perhaps. Or? Yeah, I mean, Joe's Joe's a professional and d does a great job out there. Um, and so it's been really nice having him on the back. How often do you play with Hideki? Um, I haven't played with him in a while. We were uh, laughing about that, but I seem to have played with him a few times around this place. What, what caused you to laugh? Just that it had been a long time since we had played together. And you like, had that conversation been, that led up been, to the... Yeah, it could have been nine months or, or yeah. a year. But, I mean, the fact is you had a conversation that led up to that laughter. Yeah. He's not a big talker. <laughs> is he, I mean, he's, I, look, I know there's a language barrier, and he understands probably way more than, than we let on, but is he, is he fun to play with? Yeah, I enjoy playing with the Decky. He's a great player. Uh, he's a gentleman. And, um, you know, I've enjoyed all my time with him. Would you, who would you guess enjoys this course more if you had to put it down between the two of you? Because that, that seemed to be the kind of one thread is that you both really, really like this golf course. That's a good question. It is, it is one of my favorites, so um, I always look forward to this week. We're done. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I think.